Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Within the PC Settings app window in Windows 8.1, you can click the PC and Devices command at the left side of the screen to display personalization and management options for your PC and its attached devices within this app window. Within this window, the categories of settings are listed in the pane at the left side of the screen. You click the setting categories shown in this listing to change their individual settings in the right side of the window. Note that you can click the back arrow that appears next to the PC and settings title at the left side of the window to return to the main PC settings window. This lesson will examine the settings you can change within the PC and Devices Settings category. If you click the Lock Screen category at the left side of the window, you will see a picture of your current lock screen shown in the Lock Screen Preview section to the right. The lock screen is the screen that is shown when you have locked your account or signed out of Windows 8.1. You can select a new lock screen picture by selecting one of the choices shown below the current lock screen, or you can click the Browse button to display the picture files on your computer within a Files window where you can click on your choice to select it. You would then click the Choose Image button. Note that you can also click the Cancel button within the file screen to return to the PC settings window without making a picture selection if desired. If you want to instead play a slideshow as your lock screen, then click the Play a Slideshow toggle button to set it to the On position. To turn off the slideshow and use a selected picture again, just click this same toggle button to set it to the off position. If you have slideshows turned on, then in the Use Pictures From section, you will see the folders within which Windows 8.1 will take the photos that will be used for the slideshow. It defaults to using the Pictures within the SkyDrive folder and the Pictures within the Pictures library. You can remove any of these folders by clicking the folder and then clicking the Remove button that appears. You can add a custom folder to the slideshow by clicking the Add Folder button to open a files window where you can navigate into the folder that you want to add and then click the Choose This Folder button to add the folder you are within to the slideshow. You can also click the Cancel button to cancel folder selection if desired. Now back in the Lock Screen Preview section, you can then click the Settings buttons shown to toggle each of the following features of the slideshow to either the on or off positions. These settings are Include Camera Roll Folders from this PC in SkyDrive, Only Use Pictures that will best fit on my screen, Play a Slideshow when using battery power, and When my PC is inactive, show the lock screen instead of turning off the screen. You can then use the Turn Off screen after Slideshow has played for dropdown to set the duration of time to play the slideshow before turning off the display. Below the Lock Screen Preview section, you can see the Lock Screen Apps section. Here you select which apps that you have installed will be allowed to run in the background when the lock screen is shown to show quick status updates and notifications. To add an app to the existing choices, click any of the small plus signs that are shown in this area to then select the app whose information you want to display from the pop-up menu that appears. You can also click an existing app tile shown here and then select the Don't Show Quick Status Here command from the pop-up menu to remove an app. 
You can also select a different app to substitute for the selected app from the pop-up menu shown if that is preferred. You can select a single app for which you want to show detailed status updates by clicking the app icon under the choose an app to display detailed status section and then choosing your desired app from the pop-up menu shown. You can select a single app from which to show alarms by clicking the small app icon under the choose an app to show alarms section and then selecting the name of the app to use from the pop-up menu that appears. You can enable the use of the camera on your PC when in the lock screen by clicking the swipe down on the lock screen to use the camera option button to set it to the on position. You can then use the camera when in the lock screen by swiping down on the lock screen itself. You can click the display category in the pane at the left side of the window to show display customization settings in the area to the right. Under the Customize Your Display section, you will see any connected monitors shown in a numbered diagram. You can change the display settings of a monitor shown here by clicking it. You can click the Identify command below the diagram to display the number of each monitor on screen, so you can tell which monitor is which if needed. After connecting an external display, you can click the Detect command below the diagram to detect the secondary display. You can change the screen resolution of a selected monitor by clicking and dragging the Resolution slider to the left or right. The current on-screen resolution for the selected monitor will be shown above the slider. You can then use the Orientation drop-down to select a screen orientation if needed. To then apply your changes, click the Apply button. You can also cancel any changes by clicking the Cancel button. In the More Options section, you can use the drop-down to select a size for apps, text, and other items for monitors that can support it if desired. If you need to connect to a wireless display, you can click the Connect to a Wireless Display command to open the Project pane at the far right side of the window, which you can use to select a second display, or click the Add a Wireless Display command to switch the window to the Devices Setting category and begin the search for a wireless display. You can directly click the Devices category at the left side of the window to display your device settings in the area to the right. If you have a connected device and Windows 8.1 does not automatically recognize it, you can click the Add a Device button within the Add Devices section to have Windows 8.1 attempt to automatically search for and install the device. In the Printers section below that, you will see a listing of the available printing devices for your computer. To remove a printer from this list, you can click the name of the printer and then click the Remove Device button that appears. Note that you cannot manage printer settings from this window. If there are other types of devices connected, you can see them within the Other Devices section. Just as with printers, you can click the name of a device shown in this listing and then click the Remove Device button that appears to remove a selected device if needed. It is recommended that you leave the Download Over Metered Connections option set to the Off position so that you will not download device software over a metered connection. However, if a metered internet connection is your only connection option, you may consider turning this on if needed. If you want to save music, pictures, and video to an external removable drive by default, you can connect the external hard drive and then click the Setup button under the Default Save Location section to choose into which folders on the external hard drive you want to save those types of items by default. 
You can click the Mouse and Touchpad category at the left side of the screen to view mouse and touchpad settings in the area to the right. Under the Mouse section, you can use the two drop-downs to select which mouse button is your primary mouse button and what you want to have happen when you roll the mouse wheel. If you choose the multiple lines at a time choice from the second drop-down, you can then use the slider underneath it to set the number of lines to scroll when you roll your mouse wheel. Under the touchpad section, you can use the drop-down to set the amount of delay before clicks to the touchpad will be recognized. A longer setting makes the touchpad less responsive to accidental touching. You can click the typing category at the left to display typing settings in the area to the right. Here you can click the autocorrect misspelled words and highlight misspelled words options to turn them on or off. Note that they are both set to the on position by default. You can click the corners and edges category to display settings that allow you to control the swiping and corner behaviors of Windows 8.1 in the area to the right. Here you can click the switches shown to turn the settings either on or off. The settings under the app switching section are allow switching between recent apps and when I swipe in from the left edge switch between my recent apps instead of showing a list of them. Under the corner navigation section the settings are when I point to the upper right corner show the charms and when I click the upper left corner, switch between my recent apps. Note that these are all set to on by default. You can click the clear list button that appears within the app switching section to clear the list of recent apps if desired. You can click the power and sleep category at the left side of this window to display the power settings for your monitor and computer in the area to the right. You can select an increment of time from the four drop-down settings to set the amount of time you want to elapse before that setting is applied. In the screen section, the settings are on battery power turn off after and when plugged in turn off after. In the sleep section, the settings are on battery power PC goes to sleep after and when plugged in PC goes to sleep after. You can click the autoplay category at the left side of the window to set your autoplay preferences in the area to the right. Autoplay is a feature that determines what action Windows 8.1 will take when you insert or connect media or devices to your computer. To enable autoplay for all media and devices, ensure that the Use Autoplay for All Media and Devices option is set to on. You can click it to turn it off if needed. In the Choose Autoplay Default section, you can use the Removable Drive and Memory Card drop-downs to select a default action to take when a device of that type is connected if desired. Finally, you can click the PC Info category at the left side of the window to view basic information about your computer in the screen to the right. Here you can see several settings, including your PC name, processor, installed RAM, and system type. You can also view information about your version of Windows within the Windows section. You can see the name of your computer's manufacturer under the Support section, and you can click the Online Support hyperlink to open a web page for hardware support from your manufacturer. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.